Hello students, in this tutorial, I'm going to take you through the steps to create a Sway presentation for your 7 Elements, 7 Images project. The first part is to find the Office 365 app on Clever. Once Office 365 has loaded, you guys are going to look for the app called Sway. And then we have the option to select a new blank sway or select a template to start from. I am going to select a brand new blank sway. For those of you guys unfamiliar with sway, it is kind of like PowerPoint in that it creates a presentation with very easy to follow templates and it allows you to add a lot of multimedia. We're going to keep it simple. We're going to title our Sway first. It, that's the title card by default. And I'm going to call this one Seven Elements, Seven Images, just like the project is called. You guys can get fancy and name it something else. I'm going to highlight the title and I'm going to click Emphasize. Emphasize is the version of Bold for Sway. I don't know why it's called Emphasize and not Bold. Next, I'm going to click on the plus sign to add another card. This time I'm going to select text and this is going to be my fun facts card. So I'm going to go ahead and label it fun facts. You guys are going to be asked to provide three fun facts about the elements. You guys can focus on individual elements or you guys can offer facts about the elements in general. It's going to be up to you. So I'm going to offer my facts in a bullet format. Obviously, I will go in and edit this further later on. It's not going to say blah at the end. Then I'm going to go and start adding each of the images that are going to represent my seven elements of art. I'm going to click on the plus sign, select image to open an image card. There's a few different ways that you guys can uh, place images inside your cards. I'm just going to click where it says drag an image here and go to suggested my device because that is where I have saved the images that I want to use in this particular project. So I'm going to add my first image. This image for me is representative of shape. So in the caption space, I'm going to label it shape and I might just go ahead and emphasize that. Underneath the label, that's where I want to include my one sentence statement about how the image represents that element. I'm going to keep it short and sweet and simple and I'm going to write something along the lines of the leaf in the image represents an organic shape. Simple, to the point, done. Next, I'm going to click the plus sign again and I'm going to add another image card. And just like previously, I'm going to go and drag the image there by going to Suggested, My Device, and I'm going to upload the next image. This image is the image I'm going to be using for the element of form. So in the caption space, I'm going to go and label it form and underneath it, underneath the label, I'm going to write my one sentence statement. Something along the lines of the 3D sphere in the image may look light, but it is heavy and impossible to move. Much like a 3D form. I'm gonna do this one more time with one last image, although you guys are gonna add seven different image cards, one for each element. So this one is going to be uh, for texture. So once again, I'm looking for the image in my desktop. While the image loads, I'm going to label it. So texture now and underneath I'll write my description. Peeling paint in the hydrant creates an interesting visual texture. Simple and to the point. Now, you guys would pretty much continue until you guys have seven images, one for each of the art elements. 
But I'm gonna actually go and flip from storyline, which is where I add my text, my images, etc., and click on design. This is where I'm gonna select a template for my presentation. By default, this is a template that Sway selected, and I don't think it's very interesting. In fact, I think it's boring. So, right over on my right hand side, I have a little tab that says Styles. I'm going to click on it. And then I have all the templates that Sway has to offer right over here in this menu. Before I select any of these templates, I want to decide what format my presentation is going to be. So right now it is set to vertical, which means I have to scroll down to view my images and such. If I select horizontal, I would have to scroll to the side to view my, ima uh, my images and everything else in my presentation. And if I select slides, it would be similar to a PowerPoint where I have to go slide by slide, one by one. For right now, I'm going to leave it at vertical. Now. I am going to go through this selection of templates and I know for sure that I really like the, this row of templates because they have really nice textures in the background and I like how they present all the images in a Polaroid style with the caption uh, neatly underneath. Some other templates will actually go and hide the caption as I'll show you right now. I'm going to click right here where it says play to go into preview mode and it shows me my presentation thus far. You guys will see that the, t the caption for the image is just kind of hidden a little. It hasn't gone anywhere, it's still there, but it's just kind of hidden because I have to click on each of this, these little bars to read it. To uh, leave preview mode, I would just go right here to the pencil icon and click edit and go back and select a different template. So whatever template you guys want to use is fine. My suggestion is that you guys steer clear of this bottom row. Why? They're not very professional looking. They would be okay for a baby shower or an invitation to a tea party, but for a serious art project, I'm not sure this is what you want to go for. So maybe steer clear of the final row and you guys can select any of these templates you guys like. What I notice is that the images, when I go into preview mode, are looking quite small. I want the images to be bigger so that the person viewing my presentation can see them front and center. So I'm gonna go back to the edit mode and flip to storyline. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I click inside each image and there's a little button that says focus points. This will make sure that no part of my image is cut off if you are viewing the presentation on a phone or on a tablet. So I'm gonna check right here where it says entire image is important and I can see a preview of how this image would look on any other device. Likewise, for every single image, I'm gonna click where it says focus points, check off entire image is important and make sure that my image is not cut off regardless of the device I am using to view my presentation. Now, what you guys will notice is that there's three little options for how you are going to view the image. Right now, each of my images is set to subtle. That means I'm gonna view the image very small. I'm actually gonna move to the next option, which is the middle one called moderate and set each each of my image cards to moderate so that when I go into preview mode, you guys are going to see that my images are presented a whole lot bigger than they were before. So I can now view the details. I can now see every single crack in the sidewalk in the image. It's a lot more presentable than it previously was. If I'm still not happy with this template, how it looks, I can customize it further by going back to edit mode, click the design tab, and if I, for example, really hate the font that they're using in the title, I can click right here where it says customize, and I have the option to select a different font combination altogether. So you guys can edit the design further depending on your particular choice. When I'm happy with how this presentation looks and I'm ready to submit it to Canvas, I'm gonna go to the 
top right of my screen and click on this button that says share. I have to make sure I select this option that says anyone with a link. This is crucially important. If I don't select anyone with a link, my teacher won't be able to see it, my classmates won't be able to see it, and that will entirely defeat the purpose of this project. When I select anyone with a link, I'm gonna go and copy this line of code, control C to copy, and that is the link that I am going to submit to my assignment on Canvas. Now let's say you submit this on Monday afternoon and on Tuesday morning you realized, oh snap, I forgot to add the element of color. No problem, because what's gonna happen is that Sway is gonna update automatically and whatever you do last, that's what your teacher is gonna see when she opens the link, okay? So you have nothing to worry about as far as saving your presentation goes. What you really have to emphasize is that you select anyone with a link so that your teacher can see it, your classmates can see it. I hope this was helpful to you. You know how to reach me if you have any questions and I can't wait to see your presentations.